friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a 22 year old young man with this dense cataract his other eye was operated elsewhere but he didn't get any vision in that eye and he took shelter in our blind boys rehabilitation center examined this eye found this dense cataract and convinced him to get operated let us observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. If we place the incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus, in, if we include little bit of conjunctiva, the need of suturing the wound is minimized. So this is the main incision, 2.8 millimeter posterior limbal incision and now I made one side port the side port is about 3 clock hours away at around 2 clock the main incision is at 11 o'clock and now I inject dye underneath this air bubble tripan blue dye The dye stains well. You can see there is a peripheral clear zone in the capsular back. So this is probably a developmental cataract or genular cataract. The dye is gently washed out. This is a real time surgery and you can see that I didn't wait after applying the dye I started the next step the dye is gently washed out visco is applied to fill up the entry chamber and now a big incision on the entry capsule with a sharp needle and now I take the utrita forceps hold this capsular tag and do a rexis of about 5 millimeters go all around young patient so the genule is okay and now hydro dissection hydro dissection is done at two three places Now I'm trying to prolapse this out of the back. Go through the side port, do some hydro at 12 o'clock. Mobilize the lens all around. And I can bring it out of the back. Now I inject visco both above and below this lens mass and use the FECO handpiece to manage this lens mass. You can see some brown areas and I doubt it is there are the lens matter this lens matter has this is another one this is one has come out this is a stone piece so the lens matter has altered over the years and is it has become very hard in places it has become like stone this is another stone in front of the so I emulsify the soft part around and turn it, it gets turned emulsify the soft part on the other side and this hard part this stone like part I have to remove in another way I introduced a sim 
this chopper and enlarge the wound a bit depress the posterior lip it was not coming injected some visco to make the anterior chamber deep depress the posterior lip and pushed it with the chopper out so two stone pieces are removed and this is the other part here is some cortex soft cortex from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock inject visco use this 23 gauss simco cannula to remove the cortex and now we can see this uh, white plaque right at the center of the posterior capsule if it remains like this the patient will not get any vision though the chance of getting vision is remote the patient may have developed form deprivation amblyopia by this time but still there may be some mobile vision so take this blunt chopper and try to nudge this plaque at point at a point at the distal point I find an itch and I find that it is coming out quite easily this is a blunt chopper not a sharp one the end is totally blunt so I could easily scratch onto the posterior capsule so it has got nicely separated from all around the central part is steel attached so at this time I take iterate of forceps gently peel it off and it comes out very nicely so the necessity of immediate ear glazer is abolished now inject visco fill up the bag and entry chamber and implant a hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens this is the lens this is a nice indigenous lens by Apasami Associates this is a hydrophobic lens from Apasami Associates and it is known as Supraphobe no financial interest but this is a good lens from Apasami Associate and Indian lens the lens is nicely placed in the capsula bag and now my plan is to remove the visco nicely there is some visco in the entry chamber in the entry chamber angle in the capsula bag so I irrigate with the simco first go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsula bag so most of the visco comes out just by irrigation I am not aspirating at this time so irrigate about 5 or 4 ml of BSS in the capsular bag and in the antechamber and then aspirate 45 
Then I took the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. And as I tried irrigating, I find another stone piece. It was hidden under the iris. I have to remove this. Otherwise, this will cause a lot of damage to the corneal endothelium. Inject visco. Trap this in the visco. Inject visco distally so that it comes out. And now I use this simco to squirt it out. And now use the simco again for removing the visco from the anterior chamber. At this time, there is no visco in the capsular bag. This is another thorough wash by the irrigating probe. Thorough irrigation all around. Visco cleaning should be thorough to avoid post of rise of intraocular pressure. So thorough removal of visco has been done. And now the side port is to be closed. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And then with BSS, the corneal stroma is hydrated and the side port gets closed. And now a final lavage of the interior chamber. This is the final lavage with the Simco cannula. So in this video we have seen that the lens matter over the years may change into stones in the lens mass. I don't know whether it has been reported in the literature or not, but this is what I have found. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this will help you in developing your surgical skills and manage such cases.